Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Boomboxes in Texas. My name is Phil, your host, and this is video number five of our How to Build Your Own Ammo Box Bluetooth Speaker Series. And look what just came in. We have our four-inch kicker speaker. So we're going to go ahead and open these up and get these installed. So we need to get the speaker wire out of here first. Trash down here. And these are kind of sealed on both ends of the lid. So we'll go ahead and break the seal, get rid of the plastic. And there's Duke down here. Hello, Duke. What you doing? Thank you for all the kind compliments about Duke. And uh, hello to my friends in France. I heard from uh, a viewer in France, and that's pretty cool. So what we're looking for is the... There's the wires and the screws. Should be right here. As well, so we're gonna go ahead and get the the screws out. All right. So we're gonna put this back. So we're gonna put the speakers in in just a few minutes. Go ahead and finish wiring everything up first. So put that aside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's our amplifier, and we're gonna go ahead and put the speaker wires on. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen the terminals. Make sure you can. See what I'm doing here. Loosen that. Now the speaker wires have one gray wire and one gray wire that has a black stripe on it, and the black stripe is going to be your negative. And it's it's uh, labeled right here. It's a uh, negative positive negative positive for left and right. So we're going to go ahead and. Do negative, positive. Go ahead and slide that under the terminals. There's the left side. Oh, Duke's in there meowing. Come here, Duke. You want to be on video? Come on. He's always talking about something. There's the negative side. Go to the positive side. Tied down. Hello, Duke. Come here. Come on. You can say hi to everybody. There he is. Come here, Duke. Come on. Come here. Come over here. All right, let's go ahead and let Duke do what Duke does so I can get this done. I got to get this one sent off. This one's going to be leaving the country. There's Duke. Hello, Duke. What you doing, buddy? Huh? You being a good boy today? All right, I'll let Duke hang out for a minute while I screw these down. Just screwing down these terminals here. It's a Friday afternoon. And Duke's having a good day. I actually took the day off my day job because I want to have a little day off and get some things done with these builds. Got to get caught up. How you doing, Duke? You good boy? Yeah. Why are you why are talking, huh? Everybody loves you. You got a lot of fans. A lot of our friends in France that love Duke. And everybody else that loves Duke all over the world. We heard from South Africa, Australia, Canada, and of course all over the United States. Now I'm still waiting to hear from Alaska. I did hear from Hawaii. So if you guys are watching me in Alaska, please let me know. That'd be pretty cool. And I like it. If you're watching me from anywhere, just tell me where you're watching me from. Okay, Duke, we gotta gotta finish this build so we can mail it off. It's three o'clock. We gotta mail this off at five. So and we are not going to do a two-hour video. But we do got to do a music part portion of the video. All right. Now, what we do have in here is our switch is already in here. And we have our amp. So what we're going to do, we have our positive and negative terminals. And there's our negative wire. And we need to hook up our positive wire to a fuse and we'll do that in just a minute let's go ahead and get this amp put in we got it on the velcro so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side right here so we can go ahead and peel our velcro and i do that because this way you can open the lid and you can adjust the volume now the pitch is going to change a little bit so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and close it up and then see how it sounds and then try it again I'll put the amp right there. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is hook up our power. So here's our wire going to the fuse. So let's get another wire that goes from the fuse 
to the switch. So let me go ahead and strip me a little wire right here. And go ahead and put the connector on there. Clamp that down. Now what we're gonna do is oh I gotta close the thing. While you guys were away, I was working on another project waiting for speakers to come in, and I was actually charging this box. I like to send them off and make sure the battery charger works as well. And it works fine. The battery's fully charged. Now remember on the uh, the wires here, the green wire is our hot wire. So we're going to tie these two together. From this, this is going to give power to the switch, and then the switch is going to power the amp. So let's go ahead and put our nice little uh, lever nuts here, just like that, just like this. Now I'm not going to hook the fuse up until we get everything ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and. Uh, do that. Uh, we have our ground wire right here, and here's our other ground. So we're going to go ahead and tie the grounds together. And we're going to have two grounds, so we're going to use a three-prong connector right here because we've got our ground coming from the radio, we've got our ground coming from the switch, and our gr main ground here. So we're going to go ahead and tie all three of the grounds together. Now, if you've got multiple uh, devices, you may have to use uh, more than one or a multi-prong connector like we used over there earlier so we're going to go ahead and hook the ground there hook our ground there and hook our whoops it popped out all right well, let's try that again you have to make that wire longer i don't know let's push that up in there and see if it'll nope we're going to strip that out a little bit it's just not long enough all right, let's try that again. And let's see if we can't secure this to the wall somewhere. Push that in there like that. That's attached. A little bit short, so we're going to clean that up with wire ties. Now, here's our hot wire. And we'll go ahead and strip that a little bit. And we'll get the, another one-to-one -one lever nut. And this is going to connect our power wire from the switch right here and that's going to tie the power wire to the amp okay that's all tied up let's go ahead and put a fuse in we'll put our, our speakers in and make sure everything works and if it does we'll tie our wires up so let's go ahead and put that together like that now we're fused you always want to use a fuse because if anything happens with the battery if something gets short it's going to blow that fuse before it affects your amp or any other part of your circuit so let's turn that on got a red light i see the blue light there on the amp which means the amp is working so i'm going to go ahead and turn the bass and the treble down a little bit on the amp there leave the volume up because you're going to control the volume mainly from your uh your phone or your device all right, let's go ahead and turn that off, and let's go ahead and get some wire ties. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie this up all nice and neat and out of the way. So let's go ahead and... I'll do down there tickling my leg. Use a nice wire tie here to tie that up nice and neat. And we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and glue that to the wall there, make that look nice and presentable so we'll go ahead and put that there and we'll go ahead and glue this one to the wall as well hold it for a three count and we'll go ahead and trim off that excess wire cutter wire tie these, these side cutters work really really well those off now we're going to go ahead and tie this up right here on top you always want to make sure your fuse is very accessible so we'll go ahead and tie that together with a wire tie, make it look nice and neat. Now remember, we weren't able to drill our speaker hole, so we're going to have to do that right now. We put everything in. All right, everything's nice and neat. Kind of push these wires to the side a little bit. They don't interfere with the speaker. And that looks, that looks pretty good. Everything's installed. Now what I'm going to do is 
put me down a cloth here because I don't want to scratch the back of the box, even though it is scratched, especially if you paint your your boxes. You want to lay them down on something soft here. And let's go ahead and install a speaker so we can lay out our holes. So let's go ahead and get one out. And we're going to do it one at a time. Make sure you can see everything on camera there. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right. Let's get the plastic off. Now we're not going to plug our speakers in yet because we want to go ahead and do the holes first. So we're going to go ahead and lay our speaker in there. You always want to have the terminals facing the bottom. That way the speaker is uh, straight up and down. The terminals are most of the time on the bottom. There we go. Let's go ahead and line this up. Make sure that's nice and level. And we're going to go ahead and take our center punch. And we're going to go ahead Punch the hole. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side like that, and go ahead and mark the holes there. All right. Now let's go ahead and put this aside. Don't want our speakers to get damaged. And go ahead and get a drill bit. And go ahead and get our drill. And locate our holes. Where did the hole go? Right there. Okay. Exciting watching somebody drill holes. Find my there we go. I couldn't find my, my eyes are not like they used to be. Not too worried about the shavings getting inside. Dino mat will actually catch the shavings. I gotta find another bit here. That bit's going kind of slow. There we go. Let me switch these bits out real quick. I got several of them going. They do get dull over time, especially drilling uh, all these metal boxes. And we'll go ahead and get off the top there. A little bit does get inside. It's not gonna hurt it. It'll be okay. Oh, much, much faster, much faster. May have to retire that other drill bit there. Alright, go ahead and find that last hole there. Yeah, I easily wrap the handle last thing. speakers in and we'll go ahead and find the wires here and put some go underneath here and the wires should be plenty long enough you can put the amp on one side and these small boxes to uh, to reach now you can always use your own speaker wire if you want to and these you can't mess up they have a small terminal and a larger terminal and they just pop right on and we're going to put that right there in place and go ahead and, and go ahead and do one speaker at a time and go ahead and get it completely in and uh there we go we got our speakers go ahead and put the stuff 
start the screws. Just be real careful, slow and deliberate when you drive your screws so you don't end up stabbing your speaker, which I have actually done, and it's no fun doing that. There we go. Now, just like putting on a tire in your car, you want to alternate the bolts back and forth so everything goes down nice and smooth there. All right, there's one. Let's go ahead and get the other one out. And go ahead and take it out of the plastic here. Make sure you guys can still see what I'm doing. Garbage in there. Time to take, it seems like I fill up a whole garbage can doing a couple of builds. Uh, that's just the nature of the beast. I actually have another one I'm working on right now. I've got it about three quarters of the way done. You guys will see that uh, about two videos from now because we're going to do this one. I'm going to wrap the handle, then the next video we're going to do a sound test. So. See how it sounds. I gotta figure out what song I'm gonna play. I don't even know yet. I have an idea. All right. Go ahead and put our speakers on. Find out the hole of the speaker grill. Go ahead and put that in there. Put the lid on this thing and make sure she makes some noise. What did I do with the lid? Uh oh. I misplaced the lid. I'll turn on anyway. Oh, I left the lid over there. Be right back. We know it works. guys think looks pretty cool don't it sounds pretty good let's check out what we got over here here's our voltage gauge and hit it again you got your USB ports hold it down to turn it off all right okay guys I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make wrapping the handle a separate video because I get a lot of questions about wrapping the handle and this way they don't have to watch the whole video to uh, learn how to wrap the handle. So we're going to do that in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to upload this real quick. And we'll have the wrapping the video, how to wrap the handle in about an hour. Because I like to do that kind of as a separate video. So thank you all for watching. See you in a little bit.